very close records on paper. Um, looks like it's going to be a very close matchup. I think the Clippers probably have the better bench, but the Hawks probably have the better starting five, especially when you look at the disparity between the starting guards there. Trey Young should be able to scorch Daryl Chapman all night. But despite that being said, I think I think that the at home, I think that the Clippers get the win here. I think Bob McAdoo's just been playing so phenomenally and that um at home with the fans rallying behind him, I, I just don't see him having a bad game. I think that that's what it would take for them to lose. So I'm going to say the Clippers win this one. Let's find out. Welcome, sports fans. Thank you for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Mm. Joining me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. I'm Brian Anderson, along with reporter Ali LaForce. We've got the Atlanta Hawks and the Los Angeles Clippers. Oh, Atlanta's 25. Okay, showing he's capable of throwing it down. Hey, I wish we saw it, more of these dunks from him. He obviously has no size time. and ability for it. Oh, no oh, question. Wow. He goes. I just think he likes to keep the first guessing. Defensively, just to head to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Pass to Young. Oh, a clear foul there it's on the clear so far. So he'll get the a pair at the line. Have the game plan of just attacking Bob McAdoo. And he drops it first. Since there is a pretty big height difference between him and, and Matumbo, maybe force him to get into foul trouble, get him off the court. That, that could be one way of slowing him so down. It's both free yeah. throws. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. Oh, for three. And the can hit again from the just left feet oh, sitting still. That's just part of Paul's makeup. He yeah, and, and no as you see there, I mean, he's averaging multiple steals a game. He's Young averaging 11.2 assists a game, is buried. which is Young's gone one top two tier. From the three point line. You know, top, Here's McAdoo. Probably top five point guards in the league, I'd imagine. So, to be, and so he draws the foul. To be doing 11? The line to shoot a pair. <laughs> It's not top five, top three. I mean, he's in the line for LA. Bob McAdoo. The first one falls. Takes the first one. He's okay at free throws. He's okay. Second, so he makes them both. Now here's Young. There's the three. And the Hawks with another three. Does a good job of making quick reads and quick decisions off ball screens. Young always looking under control. Shot by Leonard, no good. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. And so it looks like the Hawks will retain possession here. Say, take a to start the inbound here. Outside Young. See, that's a, that's the matchup they want to exploit Another there. One falls for Atlanta. Great find by Trey Young. He's Trey Young. Trey league. Young to force the defenses to collapse. And, 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 and then go from there. Hmm. The three. Oh. <laughs> Yes, and it's Paul with the assist that time. Hey, Chris had there, man. You can see he has 20 points per game. For where to go. He's definitely one of the elite scorers in this league. Especially because he does it at a mega. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the neck. He's got the neck, is that what he said? Here's Paul. And the shot no good. Short on that one. The Hawks leading. 
didn't get as much separation as he's been getting. Pass to Wilkins. Keep Maravich on skate, seemingly. He must, he must have put his regular shoes. Young from oh, wow. Range. There was Chapman. Just in himself. his face. Got nine and Trey Young of the quick sunk release. it. Trey Young needs only a sliver mm. of room to get off his a shot. sliver? That man had no room. None. Leonard with Not the ball. a. Why, Kawhi? You got to do him like that the right back at him, okay? And the fans love it okay, what the Hawks going to do with it? Pass to Maravich. I was going to say, Pete, going to pull that out like that. I know, yeah. Oh, that, but Bob Pettit will. Splish, splash! Three. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Okay. Oh. Here's Paul. Six points for him. You know, oh. Here's Odom. Here's Chapman. That went a little long. This is circuit Not shot. Sure you know everybody the was looking at like, for. Listen, it's bro. a fairly clean look. <laughs> Almost. You might have been able to get good with that college, but you ain't doing early it. On, been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. Yeah, they yeah he's been doing what he want to do this season. State's been opening up for him pretty much. Paul for oh, three. Chris. Knock him out the box, like Chris. The Knock him out the box. Four shooting, just taking what the defense gives him. Pass to Maravich. From outside the oh, arc. He hesitated. Shot he measured it up. I thought it was going to go. The, the way he hesitated. Oh, oh, okay. And then he still started, decided to shoot it. I was like, oh, he really, this is really about to splash. Leonard outside. Oh, this they is a bucket right here. Pick and roll. Shot on the wing. Rebound Atlanta. Bro, I feel like he could have easily got that to Bob. Outside Young. It'd have been an easy bucket for him. Pass to Maravich. From deep three-point range. That one won't fall. He's one for three oh. on the day. The Clippers trail. Great rebound from him, and he's got the ability to take it coast to coast. He's like, yeah, we can't, we can't have any of that. <laughs> Passes to mm. Paul. I like the extra pass. Uh oh, Paul's on an island. Uh oh, he's gonna get the screen now. Oh, and <laughs> he and so far they've done a great job. Tried to fight over immediately. The they couldn't make him pay for it there. No and and even the with the offensive the rebound, away. couldn't make him pay for it. But pass to Marovic. If I'm the Clippers man, From I hand the ball to Chris Paul. I have him go at Pete Marovic all night. Oh. So, you know, you know, he's and doing so 11 assists a game, so you know what? Once, once they start to double him and, and do all this crazy, throw the, all these crazy looks at him, he's gonna see right past Here's him. Chapman. I mean, look at him already willing to move the ball. Here's Odom. Oh, no scoring yet from him, but hmm. that's likely to change. A clean block. Pass to Maravich from deep three point range. Kawhi yeah, Leonard comes just up with a rebound. Pool, just so far, hey, this dog. quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. Oh, by Young. Yo, the Hawks have had some good turnovers, but they've been also Here's on a Wilkins. scoring drought the past two minutes plus. Here's Maravich. If they could have scored at least one of those to times, the I mean, they'd really be starting to pull away here. But. He'll head to the line for two. But the confidence Trey Young plays with is really something. It helps them be such a thorn in the D side. What did he just say? That misses, so he splits the free in throws. The D side? I don't want to in my D side. I'll tell you that. I know. The pass. Oh, the world be free. Bowling at 26, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's that male pattern right there. And there's the screen. Young from long range. Oh, wow. Perhaps a miss. Given his range, you can completely airball it. George. Oh, oh. What was that block was spectacular. The Clippers grab the miss. I thought George crisscrossed everybody. Brutal period. Yeah, Pete's one of six. I mean, this is absolutely horrible. Just pass the ball. Using his post moves to get the two points. Oh, and I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous Pete, weapon. do something. Call a screen. Do something. Man, this is pitiful. He buries there we him go. From three. He 
has six. I, the That's crazy thing to keep here, bitch. No attempts. matter what team he's on, no matter what he's start. doing. Timeout call. The Clippers. He shoots the ball. It may I'm be like, a player's lead, it's got a good chance of going in. Obviously, <laughs> play a big part as well. <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly. they can't put nothing past him. He can shoot so 50 feet from the basket. Uh, uh, the you know Both doing? teams decided to change it up. But, you know, when he does it, this is clearly a circus shot. He misses. Griffin outside. Look like a fool with a face on the ground. That one drops, mm. and it comes off an assist from Porter. Look at Blake Griffin knocking down Now we got three full mentions. So we got Jonte Murray. We got with it. Uh, Ted Burns, Chris Higgins. Here's Murray. Uh, no good off the glass. Uh, so Lou far, Hudson. I don't know who else is in there for them. Uh, for them. Um, Outside Porter, pass to Griffin. Uh, oh, Mac Hollins, the, the rookie that they drafted. Outside for Porter. This Six season, the and then uh, and the three off target. This is for the, the Clippers. Shot they wanted to get uh, right Daryl Chapman starting. Right spot, wrong result. But uh, Paul George is is on the bench, and so now you he actually Here's have uh, he's on the bench as a as a small forward. So now you got J.T. Porter. Looking for his Ooh. first basket still in this one. Uh, we'll be freeze the guards then. Was a little Paul George. So effective. The forward. Cleared the path, put um, him in position for a prime time and got dunk. Break, Blake Griffith is and a big time is powerful yeah. here. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. They got someone else too. Some other Malone. Malone. There we go. That's the center. He's apparently been doing pretty phenomenally. Blake Griffin. He's a guy. You know, he kind of needs the ball. He kind of needs those shot attempts. He wasn't really getting in the starting lineup. He's kind of better. You get more out of him. And another thing, they found the open man. Really playing unselfish basketball, moving the ball around there on the perimeter. No good on the second free throw. Unusual for him. He'd been in a groove from the line. to Hagen. And there's the slam mm. to finish it off. Can you My say immediate down. entry into the highlight reel? Woo, what a dunk, B.A. <laughs> it's showtime yeah. now, man. Over Blake Griffin. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. Oh, a great look there. Yeah, they really are Brought getting curious. By the AT&T 5G slam nice little eight point lead. Here's free. After the Hawks picking up a basket just moments ago. You got this bench out here. You got to be inside. Lean on Paul George and Blake Griffin. Here's George. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Paul George, up literally. The mid -range. George could have tried back. to drive. Firing. But takes what the defense gives him. Pass to Murray. Here's Hollins. For three. And that's good. Mm. His first bucket of the game. Yeah, Blake Griffith can't buy defense the right now. <laughs> Get dunked on, he's get below. shot in the face. Boy, he's been patient so far. Mm -hmm. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. George outside. Look, they're trying to game plan, Paul George. Oh, and, it all and when it all falls apart, he just says, you know what, let me take it just enjoy the show. Pass to Hollins. To the left side wing. Oh, another one. Oh, line with the three. And they've come out with a fearless approach oh, on the board. Go. Oh, that's that's a hand. It's a world be free. And then come up and Here's do a little home. screen off of it. Let's a floater go. Yeah, like, what it was that? Oh, that was so forced. The Clippers will keep possession. That's and crazy. It's time to take another Burns look like, really? at that powerful block. Oh, really, really? Oh my! Oh my! Another that rookie for them. Defense positioning himself well to send it back. Really, man, come on, man. He's like, I've been in the league a year. Here's free. Five to shoot. I know what we do. Ooh, making people jump. What a level Ooh. left to play in the first. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Knowing you had five seconds for him to have the patience to, here's to do that pump fake. Pass to Hagen. This is what made it so effective. I don't think that pump fake really that effective, but for him to do Let's it within with three. three, two Nails seconds. From three. Yeah. He cut any close. Seven. This defense just can't stay connected too. to shooters. Yeah, I mean, the Hawks shooting 47% overall. They have been now shooting like quarter. 51, 52. And here's Griffin. Their lead would be really crazy. Here's oh, free. Blake drawing the double. George for three, and it mm. falls for him. He's hit Finds the open man, but they get rotation so he deal. Show a lot of he kicks it back to Paul George. Again, from mm. this mouth. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks, Ooh. and he gets it to go. 
I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. I know I said the Clippers. George I, with it. I thought the Clippers would win. Points in the game. But they've been doing their thing, and then they got 32 points. Here's and the Hawks and so it's actually haven't yeah. been doing much of their thing, and they got 39 points. I, just based off of like league averages and and, and things, I'm actually probably going to change and say that I think that the Hawks will end up winning. Uh. Uh, the home court Clippers are bigger. They get to the line where people down late in the game. I'm I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick with my original decision. I'm gonna say Clippers come back and win. Gosh, I knew I should have stuck. I knew I should have flipped, man. Uh, what is it? 25, 25 point game. Uh. So basically a blowout. Um yeah. <laughs> Up thirteen and a half. Spread it three more. Spread it another nine. Yeah. Just a, an absolute blowout of a game. On forty five percent shooting from three is pretty solid. But when you look at the Clippers shooting fifty eight percent from three, like when you look at just the percentages, you're like, whoa. But then you look at well, the Clippers took so many less threes. And even though on a percentage basis, they even had better percentage inside the arc as well, they just took so many less shots. And especially on top of that, the Hawks getting to take 25 free throws and making 22 of them. That's a huge disparity, almost double the free throws made. Uh, more than double, well, more than double attempted, more than double made um, as well. Um, so I mean the, the free throws and just the number of possessions for them total is really what put the Hawks over the edge. And a lot of this goes to, okay, offensive rebounds, almost double, right? Um, so they had more second chance points, the turnovers, almost half, and then the number of points scored off of turnovers more than triple. Um, so that's, the, I mean, that's it right there. Turnovers. And then getting those points off of turnovers, getting to the line, getting the easy buckets, getting all, all of that stuff, the offensive rebounds, the putbacks, that's what won the Hawks this game, 100%, no doubt about it. Let's take a look at the box score. You know what's a bad sign when a guy off the bench is leading you in points? Um, I mean, unless he pops off and goes for 40 right? or, or, or 30, you know, something, he shouldn't be leading a team with 21 points. Um off the bench phenomenal percentage kind of did pop off and Bob McAdoo was only one point behind it but they just shouldn't be this just shouldn't be happening you know and we'll be free like with it with a double double where, where was Chris Paul with his double double why didn't he <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean I don't know none of these guys really really did a bad job it's oh yeah it's down here I mean why was he taking seven shots you know two shots honestly really you look at like percentages I mean Kawhi Leonard definitely had a rough night um, didn't see a whole lot of action. Kawhi, Malone, you know, Hendricks and, and Elton Brand. Uh, eh, I mean, 26 points were the bad shots. I don't, I don't, I don't really know about that. Um, I think it's more just this, right? Uh, Trey Young popping off with 32 points, 10 assists. Dominique Wilkins had 22 points. I bet it had a triple double, 19 points, 12 rebounds, 11 assists from the power forward spot. And he had a steal and a block. Cliff Hagen went six of 10 off the bench. Pete Maravich, horrible percentages. Okay. But at least he kept shooting. I guess I, I don't, I don't know. really actually contributed nothing. Uh, <laughs> probably actually robbed these guys of getting more stats. Uh, Pete did. Um, but just everyone, I mean, five of eight, three of four, two of two, two of three, two of four, like everyone did their job. And then the guy that did go one of three had eight rebounds and two blocks. This guy had eight assists, two steals, four rebounds from the point guard position off the bench. Like just everyone did their part. 